Light heavyweight contender Artur Baturbiev says that his goal is to become world champion, as you might expect. And he says he don't care who he has to fight to achieve that goal, whether it be Sergei Kovalev or Adonis Stevenson. This is the first time that I've actually heard the name Adonis Stevenson come out of Baturbiev's mouth. And I guess that's somewhat encouraging because he is promoted by the same promoter as Stevenson. Um, as far as I know, actually, let me not talk about the management because I'm not hundred percent about that, but I know they're promoted by a gym. It, it, that is Yvonne Michelle's outfit up there in uh, Canada. And they obviously are both advised by Al Heyman. They both fight on PBC. So you want to hear these guys talking about each other. In fact, I'm not even sure if Stevenson's ever talked about Baturbiev. But at least here Baturbiev has mentioned Adonis Stevenson's name. So that fight really should be getting made. That's something that I'm definitely going to be uh, trumpeting on this channel. And I have been actually for some time. I want to see Baturbiev against Stevenson. Why isn't there more of a push from both of these fighters to get this fight done? Elidia Alvarez will be next up for Stevenson if he gets past his next opponent. And Alvarez is also promoted by uh, Yvonne Michelle. So that's two fighters in the same promotional stable going at it as long as Stevenson gets past his next fight. So after that, why not Stevenson against Baturbiev? And if you cast your minds back a few months, Baturbiev was actually the mandatory challenger for one of Sergei Kovalev's world titles. And Sergei Kovalev and his team decided to take on Baturbiev as a voluntary. They offered him the opportunity to fight in a voluntary situation. And Baturbiev initially, Yvonne uh, Michaud and Baturbiev, seemed very keen on the idea and they said yeah yeah let's do it let's do it but then after a couple of weeks they came out again and said oh no we're going to go a different route and that led to speculation about what had gone on behind the scenes did Baturbiev's training team not think he was ready for a Kovalev fight yet did Uncle Al intervene as we know Baturbiev's advised by Uncle Al did he intervene and say no not yet some people, and I think this is a pretty, a, a, a pretty uh, solid theory to go on. Some people are saying that the reason that they pulled out, or the reason they didn't take Kovalev and his team up on that opportunity to fight Kovalev in a voluntary situation, is because Baturbiev was only, I think, one eliminator away from being the mandatory. I think he was the number one contender, but. Yeah, maybe I'll have to correct myself here. I think he was maybe the number one contender, but he was only one fight away from becoming the mandatory. And some people are saying, well, they turned down the, the, the voluntary opportunity to try and become mandatory because then Uncle Al will be able to enter a purse bid with Kathy Duva and Uncle Al's going to win and he'll get more money for his fighter. And maybe that's why Kathy Duva wanted to fight or wanted... Uh, Sergei Kovalev to fight Baturbiev as a voluntary to avoid purse bids. Maybe that's what it was all about. So maybe the same type of difficult, awkward situation between Kathy Duva and Al Heyman, which prevented the uh, Stevenson-Kovalev fight happening, is also preventing the Baturbiev-Kovalev fight happening. Could it be that? Maybe it is. And whose side do you want to take on the issue? Uh, you know, you'll have to decide that among yourselves. Argue it among yourselves in the comment section. I'm done with that whole argument for now. So, anyway, as I keep saying, if we can't see Kovalev against Stevenson or Kovalev against Baturbiev, let's get Baturbiev Stevenson. Let's get that fight on. There's no reason it can't happen. There's no networks getting in the way. There's no promotional issues getting in the way. There's no nothing like that. Why is that fight not being built? If, you know, I hate to bring Eddie Hearn into this, but I do think for, for all his flaws, Eddie Hearn is essentially a good promoter in, in, a, in a sense that he does a good job for his fighters. Usually he promotes them. 
He gets their name out there. He makes them bigger. He sets up grudge matches and whatnot. You saw what he did with Dylan White against AJ. Imagine if he had Adonis Stevenson and Artur Viterbiev on his books. He'd be building that fight up, you know, from long time, from a good year or more before the fight actually would take place. He'd be building it up. But that don't seem to be happening with Stevenson and Baterbiev. And they're both based in Canada, so you really would think that they should be doing that. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is some type of back and forth going on between Baterbiev and Stevenson in Canada. You know, If you are from Quebec, maybe you can enlighten me and let me know if there's anything being said between these two guys. I'd also be interested to know if these guys have actually ever sparred together. I know that Baterbiev sparred with uh, Jean Pascal quite a lot. And I saw clips of him sparring Pascal and he looked like he was giving Pascal the business. <laughs> looked like he was working him over in sparring, which you might expect. I'd be very interested to know if he's sparred Stevenson. I suspect he hasn't. Either way, let me know what you do know in the comment section below. And let me know how you feel about this situation with Artur Baterbiev and Adonis Stevenson. Will this fight happen? If it don't happen, why wouldn't it happen? Yeah, drop your opinions in the comment section below. Should boy happen? I'm out.